Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the bind event handler and how we can make use of it to make life uh, or code a lot more efficient. So let's take an example. If we have a link on a page, I'm going to go ahead and just outline a uh, link. It's not going to go anywhere and I'm just going to call this a link. So let's go over to our browser and take a look. You can see that we've just got a link here. Uh, it doesn't really do anything at the moment. So what I want to do is when I hover over this link, I want the text to change to bold. So there are other ways of obviously doing this, but with jQuery, we can use the, uh, the bind event handler to actually handle, for example, all links on our page. You might want all links to be underlined when they're click, uh, when they're hovered over or in, a, in actual fact you might not want them to be underlined. So what we can do is we can go ahead and assign a particular class to this uh, when we hover over or when we use the mouse over. So we're going to be use the mouse enter and the mouse leave event handlers to actually go ahead and make this bold and add a class to this particular link. So the class that we want to create is just going to be called bold. Uh, and I'm going to just say font weight bold. So wherever this class is, apl is applied to a particular element, in this case uh, an A tag or an A element or a link element, uh, if you'd like to call it that, the text inside will turn bold. So let's go ahead and create a file that's going to handle our events. So I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to save it inside the JS directory. Remember, we're working with index.php in the root directory. I'm going to go ahead and save it in JS as events.js. And in here, we can start to write code that's going to handle the mouse enter and the mouse leave uh, events. So, for example, I'm going to go ahead and select all A. So I'm, I'm using a selector and all A, A elements on the page. Now I'm going to say mouse enter. And inside here, we need to create a function. So the function will just be outlined, and we can pull this down uh, so we can start working inside. Now let's go ahead and just alert something out to test the usage of this. So um, over, for example, or enter would be more appropriate. So inside of our browser, let's go ahead and mouse over this. Oh, it didn't do anything. And that's because we haven't included the script on our page. So let's go ahead and include the script. So the type is text forward slash JavaScript and the source, remember inside our JS folder, events.js. So back to our browser to test this. I'm going to hover over or mouse or mouse enter and it says enter. So we know that this event is working. Now with this event, this particular mouse enter event, we can then go ahead and add a class to this uh, or, or this A tag. And that class is bold. So uh, we would normally say um, this dot add class, and then we specify the name of the class, which is bold. So now what's going to happen is when we hover over the link, this changes to bold because we've added a particular class to it. Obviously, when we hover uh, or our mouse comes away from this, um, it, we don't get the same effect. So we need to use the mouse leave event to actually handle this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do this the long way, and then we're going to take a look at bind in order to shorten this functionality. So I'm going to, at the end of this, remember our, func our um, outline starts here, our mouse enter here, and then we've got a function inside. But at the end of this, I'm going to go ahead and append another event on, and that is mouse leave. So now inside here we can create another function and the code in here will be that of when the mouse leaves this particular element. So we can again say this dot add or remove class, sorry, bold. So when the mouse enters this A element, so any link on the page or any A on the page, we add the class bold to the A. When the mouse leaves, we then remove the class bold from the A. So it sounds quite logical and the code is quite short, 
Uh, let's go just go and take a look at the functionality when we hover over or mouse enter and when we mouse leave the class is removed. So we now have the functionality that we initially wanted for our links. However, if we go ahead and just get rid of this, we can do this using bind and it will make the code a lot shorter uh, and obviously a lot easier to, uh, to get our head around. So I'm going to go ahead and again reference all A elements, but this time I'm going to use the bind event handler. Now this is going to take two parameters as opposed to just creating a callback function inside of it as we normally would do. We specify first uh, the event that we want this to happen on, and then we specify the uh, action that we're going to take. So this in here is the action, and this in here is the event. So on an event, we're going to perform a particular action, and this event is going to be mouse enter. And when the mouse enters, we want to go ahead and apply the bold class to this. So we just say add class uh, bold. So now, uh, when we enter this A object, we perform this function. So much extremely similar to how we were doing it in the first place. So let's go ahead and mouse over you see we have the same functionality however obviously when we mouse uh, out or when the mouse leaves this particular element uh, the bold class isn't removed so now instead of then appending something else onto here uh, you might think that adding bind and then mouse leave and then another function here would do the same job which it will do if we were to say remove the class so we ha we're using like the same thing, but this doesn't really cut our code down or make anything more efficient. Uh, it works the same way, uh, but obviously there's always better ways to do things. So instead, what we're going to do is with the bind uh, event handler, we can specify a series of um, events that we want to use. So for example, mouse enter and mouse leave. So now on mouse enter and on mouse leave, we add a class to bold. Now obviously this isn't gonna uh, work, it doesn't really make sense when we mouse over and mouse leave, we're just adding the class once again. However, just taking a minute to research different, um, you know, different things, class functions, we know that there is a toggle class function. And what toggle class will do is it will check if a particular class is applied and if it is it will remove it and if it's not applied it will add it so much like the toggle as in where you would show something show a particular element with jQuery what we're now doing is on mouse enter and mouse leave we're toggling this uh, bold class so now what's going to happen is when we go in the toggle class obviously saw that uh, the bold class wasn't applied to this element so it applied it but now when we mouse out again, which is this part of here, mouse leave, we remove the class because it was already added to that particular element. So using bind has cut our code down dramatically from I think six lines to three lines. And we've also created something that's more you know, acceptable to um, how you would usually write something. You know, what's the point in writing additional code when you can write that code in these three lines, uh, what's essentially regarded as the correct way? So just using bind, you can go ahead and use it obviously with any other element and any event that would be appropriately associated with that element. So we can choose to use lots of different uh, events and, lots of, and, and apply that to lots of different elements. And we have toggle uh, found in a variety of places as well, so we can use toggle if appropriate. So that's the bind uh, event handler in jQuery and how useful it can be.